Hi, I'm Chelsea, a digital product designer here at White House Custom Color, and today I'm going to show you how to design and order an album using Studio. To get started, you're going to head to studio.whcc.com and create a project. To do that, you go to New Project, enter the name of your project, and upload your images. I already have mine created, so I'm going to jump back over there. Then you'll be able to see the wide variety of product options that you're able to create using the photos that you uploaded. We'll jump into creating an album. And right now our album editor supports our most popular options with more coming soon. So I'm gonna create a 10 by 10. Once you're in the editor, you can start by selecting your cover material. You can click through and preview the variety of material options that we have. Once you have one that you like, you have the ability to add a cameo cover as well as debossing. So we'll use our cameo here and add in an image. And with debossing, you're able to select the location of your debossing and the color. Once your cover is ready to go, you can head over to the end leaves. This is where you can select which color of end leaf you would like in addition to what type of insert board you would like for your album. And you also have the ability to add rounded corners to your pages. Now that the outside style of our album is ready to go, we can start designing our spreads. To get started, you can select the images that you would like to include and you simply drag them onto your spread you then have the ability to use the shuffle button to switch through a variety of different layout options until you find one that you like. You also will see a variety of layout options populate on the side as you start adding images and shuffling through them. If you'd like to add additional images, you simply drag them up to the spread and it will reorder to try to find an optimal layout for the images that you have selected. If you see an option over in the sidebar that you prefer, you can click on that and switch up the layout. You also have the ability to add an image to a single page and customize the background color. When you're selecting your background color, you have the ability to apply it to the full spread or a single page. You also have the ability to jump into an expanded view to get a wide view of all of the spreads that are in your album. You can even drag images onto spreads from this view as well. You can also create new spreads and use this as a way to uh, preview, start laying out some of your spread ideas as well as reorder the layout and organization of your album. Once you're feeling good about your design, you can head over to the review tab, and this is where you'll be able to select the paper type that you would like for your album, as well as save it back to your project. Once your album is saved to your project, you can click in to preview it and get a unbranded share link that you are able to send to your client so that they can review the design that you've created and provide feedback or approval for you to order. Once it's ready to order, you can simply come back to your studio project and go through the ordering process. As you can see, Studio makes it really easy to design and create an album in minutes. Whether you're an experienced album designer or just getting started, Studio makes it simple.